Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Today we are marking something off of our bucket list. We are going to go for a hot air balloon ride. It's like must do thing when you're in Cappadocia. Yes. But it is it's so early. It's 5 a.m. You guys, or at least we woke up at 5 a.m. Our Guy should be coming soon to drive us over to the takeoff site, but man, mm -hmm. we are so excited. I think it's gonna be great. They should have some breakfast and dear God, hopefully lots of coffee. All right, let's do it. Let's go fly. Oh my gosh. getting very hot and we are about to go up. It's pretty exciting. There's like heat coming from all angles. <laughs> oh, it feels quite lovely because <laughs> it's really cold out here. Uh, you'll be hit. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is real life. Yeah. how close we are to the ground you guys this thing can descend real quickly oh there's a bunch of people down there <laughs> that's awesome we are high up now you guys holy cow <laughs> a little scary <laughs> all of a sudden i just looked down and oh my god approximately four meters per second that's why we are passing the levels too fast you feel the wind Mongolfia brothers, they invent balloon. Looking for a gas lighter than air, which they found hydrogen, but they didn't use. It's 14 times lighter than air. But one day, Joseph Mongolfia, we were sitting nearby the fireplace and his shirt was on the chair. Shirt goes up and he understood that how they rises. Catch the princip and with his brother, they made one balloon. <laughs> There are like a hundred balloons in the sky. We went up, we went down. Yeah, I thought we were gonna hit some stuff, but we didn't. <laughs> gotten so close to things. It's amazing how they can maneuver into these little crevices. Yeah, because I think that they're just using the wind, you know, they kind of feel where it's going. And of course they do that. Yeah, he can go up and down, but he has no control over the direction. So we'll land wherever we land, we'll float wherever we float. Check this out though, this is insane. This now that the sun's come out, it's like lighting everything up. I think this guy is seriously about to land right on that trailer. That'd be some skill. I think we're looking for a landing spot. This part is nice, but we are not going there, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's our guy. Probably. <laughs> well, we always respect Isaac Newton. Gravity will take us sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> set us right on the trailer, that's awesome. <laughs> there we 
Here we go. <laughs> Hot air balloons. The hot air balloons <laughs> to landing. Apparently, this is what they drank after the first successful landing. The king sent a fancy bottle of champagne, just like he sent it to us today. Alison Baylor, Eric, this is yours, sir. Thank you. Congratulations. Certified. We're certified, y'all. We did it. Eric Baylor and Alison. Alison. <laughs> That is 100% the correct spelling. Very legit. The balloon flight is over. Um, everyone left. We're hanging out with our balloon pilot, Hakan. He's gonna take us to scope out some of these uh, caves up here. So it's like a cave uh, hospital church. Yes. Is that yes. right? Hospital yeah. So we're gonna check that out before we head back. Apparently this whole section out here was indoor. I guess it's all exposed now, but there are still some indoor parts. Oh yeah, you can see the roof collapsed on this one. That's pretty cool. Well, I can't really say how incredible that was, but it was definitely one of the coolest things we ever ever done. Yeah, we were just talking, we walked on a glacier in Alaska, and I think this is right up there with that, with like yeah. the most surreal experience ever. So we definitely hope uh, you guys get a chance to do this at some point, but if you do, you can always check out Voyager Balloons because we had an absolute blast with them. Our guide was amazing. It was great. They tell you all sorts of facts and everything yeah. while you're up there. It's yeah, we so learned much a ton fun. about the area. Yeah. But we are absolutely starving. It's about 10 a.m. and we've been up since 5 a.m. But uh, we found a spot and got some more Turkish coffee. We've also got some breakfast coming to us. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. I can't wait. Uh, I think we're both coming down from our high yeah. from being up there so high. Check out what Allison got. What is that? <laughs> I honestly There's a lot going on don't here. really know. I know it's chicken with veggies, but I have no idea what's on fire or why. <laughs> but look at this, y'all. Got some like spaghetti, some french fries, some salad. A little rose tomato thingy. And this was barely more than your sad little sandwich. Yeah, I just got a little sandwich, but yeah, pretty cool. Man. came back to our cave hotel and I crashed right out. I was so tired. I was out he like a light. for like two hours. Yeah. I, on the other hand, did a workout. But I'm glad I went to sleep because we have another awesome adventure planned for We're today. We're gonna go ride ATVs into the sunset. <laughs> We're gonna go ride ATVs into the sunset in case for you real. couldn't understand what the heck she just That's said. That's what we're doing. All right, let's do it. Uh, yeah. Our ATV adventure is underway. We've got our surgeon masks on because there's yes. a lot of dust lots out here. Lots and lots of dust. We both forgot our sunglasses though. Yeah. That's a bummer. We also have these nice little uh, lice caps, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. Never had to At wear those At first we were like, before. what the hell are these for? And then we were like, oh yeah, we should probably get those. <laughs> so I've got double, or we've got double protection. The, the beanie, the lice cap, and then Hopefully no lice up in there, but we're all ready. Our first stop, we came to the Red Valley up on top and the Rose Valley on bottom. And our hot air balloon guy this morning was telling us about it as well. He says that at night, they, it just turns magical colors. So I don't think we'll quite be here for sunset. I'm not sure exactly where we're going, but it is quite lovely, I would say. Yeah. But I think we're gonna get back on the dirt roads. We've got a lovely caravan of ATVers over there accompanying us. Oh, there's so many of us. They seem a little inexperienced, so it might be. <laughs> We've already had to stop a couple times and go like get people who somehow they were like turned around backwards. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what they were doing, but it'll be fun. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, we found little puppies. 
Holy cow. What the guy's doing? Oh my Come goodness. here. Come here. <laughs> hey, buddy. Well, the sun has went down over the valley. It's gone. It was a very beautiful ride. Took us back to our time in uh, Greece. We were ATV and all over uh, oh Santorini. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. Much, much warmer though. It's very chilly today. Yeah, but I think in a few minutes we're gonna hop back on the ATVs, head, head back to our cave hotel, and then probably call it a night because I am beat from getting up so early. <laughs> <laughs> but we're having an excellent time in Turkey so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh yeah. We definitely this... had a lot of fun making it. Oh yeah, today has been, I mean <laughs> like, doing the hot air balloons, I never thought that it would be so incredible. It yeah. was just absolutely mind blowing. If you have the chance to do it, whether you're here or anywhere else in the world, yeah. you gotta do it. Definitely it's so it. cool, it's totally worth it. Also, tomorrow, we are gonna be trying one more, our, I guess we haven't tried that much food here, but we're going to no. be trying a local dish. I'm very excited for that. Yeah, and so keep your eye out for that video. Yeah, and then we'll be off to Istanbul to eat a lot of food, see more stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going to be just nonstop fun for the next week. Can't yep. wait. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>